from VOA Learning English. This is the Science Report. Weather experts say this year could be the strongest El Nino event in recorded history. They say it could lead to severe weather conditions in many parts of the world. El Nino is Spanish for the child. The event usually begins in December. El Nino develops when winds off the west coast of South America weaken. This permits warm water in the Western Pacific to expand toward the east and the Americas. At the same time, clouds and rain over the warm water also move east. El Nino conditions happen about twice every 10 years. Usually, the conditions continue for about 12 to 18 months. They bring warm weather to some areas. These areas also become wetter than normal. However, El Nino can lead to drought in other areas. Eastern Africa, Kenya, and Uganda are preparing for possible flooding because of El Nino. Yet two countries to the south, Malawi and South Africa, are already dealing with extremely dry weather. The United Nations Children's Fund warns that many people are at risk from hunger, disease, and water shortages resulting from this El Nino. In East and Southern Africa, it warns, up to 11 million children could be affected. Weather changes caused by El Nino depend on its strength. In the early 1980s, a strong El Nino was linked to dry weather in Australia and Asia, rain and flooding in South America, and high temperatures in much of the United States. Ten years later, a smaller El Nino caused flooding in parts of the U.S. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.